بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم After studying all these hadiths, uh, we learn three important points. Uh, one mutawatir lafzi, two mutawatir ma'anavi. Mutawatir lafzi or uh, verbally frequently narrated concept. This is something that uh, is repeated in many hadiths that reaches to the level of mutawatir with the specification that the terming, the words are the same in all those hadiths. Specific terms are being mentioned and repeated in all those hadiths. This is called mutawatir lafzi, means the wording and the terming itself is frequently narrated. In all these hadiths, we see that uh, the name of Imam Ali, Lady Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein as the members of Ahlul Bayt is mutawatir lafzi, means the terming is being repeated frequently in all these hadiths. So Ahlul Bayt are these five. Beside it, uh, we have another mutawatir ma'nabi, means that uh, what is frequently narrated is a concept. The concept comes in different termings, in different hadiths, but all of those hadiths are going to teach you one concept, and that concept is certain because all of them are supporting it. For example, when we look at the history of Islam, we see that Imam Ali alayhi salam, in one occasion, he sleeps in the bed of the Prophet when the Prophet left uh, Medi Mecca to Medina. Uh, so he, he sort of sacrificed his life in the way of Islam. The way that he defended Islam in the Battle of uh, Badr, in the Battle of Ahzab, in the Battle of Khaybar, in the Battle of Uhud. When you read all these hadiths that are coming in different occasions, in different stories, different termings, but one concept is certain, and that is bravery of Ali ibn Abi Talib. So reading all these pages of history, uh, you learn something that Ali was a brave person, and this concept is frequently narrated. The terming is different, but the concept is mutawatir. This is called mutawatir ma'nabi. In the story of Ahlul Bayt alayhimu salam, we see that there is mutawatir ma'nabi, and that tawatir ma'nabi is that wives are not included among the members of Ahlul Bayt. In one, in some of the hadiths, we see that uh, Umm Salama says, I wanted to join, and the Prophet said, uh, Allah makanik, you are in your position, do not join Ahlul Bayt. In one hadith says, Tanaha, you know, keep your distance. So, in some other hadiths, this is said to Aisha. In different hadiths, in different places, different terms, the Prophet didn't allow the wives to join Ahlul Bayt. So this mutawatir ma'nabi means the concept is mutawatir. The concept that the Prophet didn't allow the wives to join Ahlul Bayt is again mutawatir, but tawatir is not lafzi, is ma'nabi, is that the concept is frequently narrated. The third point, which is again mutawatir ma'nabi, is the fact that Ahlul Bayt uh, were not just family members of the Prophet. It wasn't only a family relation, but Ahlul Bayt have a specific position because of their virtue, because of their purification. When we look at the Hadith of Saqalain, for example, the Hadith that says they are parallel to Quran. In another Hadith that the Prophet says Ahlul Bayt are the Ark of Salvation. So when we put all those Hadiths talking about Ahlul Bayt, that Ahlul Bayt are the source of knowledge, Ahlul Bayt are so and so, when we put all those hadiths about Ahlul Bayt salam, that the Prophet for six months goes and says salam and calls them uh, Ahlul Bayt and says, Innama yuridu Allahu ankum Ahlul Bayt. When you put all these hadiths together, again, another mutawatir ma'nabi, another frequently narrated concept will be formed, and it is that Ahlul Bayt are a specific people with a specific position. And bearing that position in mind, again, it helps us to understand that wives cannot be included among Ahlul Bayt.